integration of robots into a manufacturing environment could be a hazardous and complicated affair. But IBM are striving to make it simpler through the introduction and application of computer techniques. Such techniques can control and manage all aspects of automated manufacturing processes, including the industrial robots themselves, and importantly, the essential peripheral tooling and parts handling equipment. Manual production lines are very versatile and can be adapted to cope with different types of assembly tasks, some of which may require dexterity and subtlety on the part of the assemblers. By monitoring the performance of different locations along the line, production can be paced and regulated to compensate for irregularities in the supply of materials or variations in operator performance. But flexible assembly systems can be designed with the advantages of manual assembly with the additional benefits of continuous working throughout shifts, more consistent quality, and easy management of changes in production needs. In developing computer-integrated manufacturing, IBM has not only considered overall system architecture and applied computer techniques to achieve greatest system control, but has also introduced highly flexible and programmable industrial robots. These 7535s are producing keyboards for the IBM personal computer at their plant in Greenock, Scotland. In this application, five 7535 manufacturing systems are each performing one particular task as part of the total assembly operation. They're all linked into an IBM Series 1 computer, which controls and oversees the whole manufacturing process. The system can produce approximately 50 different keyboard layouts which are personalized with one of 23 different languages at a later stage. Before a production run commences, the requirements for the day are loaded into the Series 1, which directs the robot's operational sequence through each 7535 controller. In the first instance, Mylar carriers are presented and placed onto a pallet, which is transported along a conveyor to the first 7535. Two bowl feeders continuously present correctly orientated key buttons. They're picked up by a vacuum gripper located at the end of the Z-axis of the 7535. The key buttons are spread apart to the correct pitch by divisions in the gripper. They're then placed onto the Mylar carrier. The operation is repeated a predetermined number of times depending on the configuration of the keyboard required. The SCARA type of manipulators have the ability to absorb lateral pressure when at rest, allowing a slight deflection to take place so that centering correction can occur. The arm, however, retains high rigidity in the vertical direction to prevent tilting, and thus possible jamming at the mating surfaces. This is called selective compliance. At the second 7535 station, further key buttons are added to the mylar. One, two or three at a time. The IBM personal computer is used for programming the 7535. The work envelope of the manipulator arm can be displayed so that coordinates can be observed, assessed and adjusted. IBM have developed a high-level software language called AML, the language of automation specifically designed for robotics. A version known as AML stroke E is used with the 7535. AML statements are composed of simple English language words such as up, down, grasp and move and it is therefore a language which is very easy to use. These programs can be loaded into the controller and the PC may then be disconnected. At the third and fourth 7535 workstations, single function key buttons are added. These buttons are fed to the 7535 via a magazine. There are seven different shaped buttons in a variety of colors. Each 7535 has its own controller. The controller has a built-in storage capability to retain application programs given to it by the personal computer or the Series 1. The controller can also synchronize peripheral devices such as conveyors, sensors and counters, as well as the grippers, thereby establishing a coordinated manufacturing system. 
At the final 7535 workstation, the mylars carrying the assembled key buttons are deposited into an area from where they're taken to the next production stage. Whilst the empty pallets are transferred over onto an adjoining conveyor, which takes them back up the line to be used again. The pallets weighing over three kilograms are handled easily by the manipulator. This facility at present runs two shifts per day, five days per week. And to meet the volume requirements of the plant, a second identical line will be installed during 1984. The operation of final assembly of the keyboard is extremely complex. Automation of this stage is currently nearing completion in the plant's advanced engineering laboratory. In this instance, an IBM 7565 is utilized. The robot's controller will also interface to the Series 1 line control computer, supervising all keyboard manufacturing operations, including the key button assembly. The keyboard frame with its housing and fly pads is transported by conveyor to a pad card loading station. The pad card is picked up with a vacuum gripper from a supply magazine and positioned very precisely onto the frame. The robot's tactile sensors ensure correct mating. As the assembly is moved automatically to the closing tool, the manipulator changes grippers. The vacuum gripper lifts the Mylar key button carrier from its magazine. A self-aligning gripper linked to the machine sensors ensure that it's picked up correctly. The button pack is then positioned in a merging nest. The system monitors a pre-programmed insertion force of the tactile sensors to confirm correct location. The robot returns the vacuum lifting tool to its holder. The assembly is cleaned by an air jet and suction during the mylar stripping operation. The manipulator puts the mylar onto a discharge conveyor. The assembly is moved into position above the nest of key buttons, then lowered very accurately to allow all the key buttons to be assembled into the frame simultaneously. Again, the force sensors play a critical role in this delicate operation. The completed keyboard contains over 300 components. Although being intricate in assembly, it's been possible to utilize both the 7535 and 7565 flexible manufacturing robots together with peripheral tooling and parts handling equipment to automate the entire production operation. Control from the Series 1 means that production data can be linked to other areas of the plant systems. Such overall system architecture ensures integrated and coordinated manufacturing operations at all times regulating production for maximum efficiency and thereby achieving the true benefits of robotic assembly operations.